FNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this one o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. The Dow is up six at 33,815. Look at all these little tiny candles, little doji candles. One, two, three, all the days, yeah. Up until today, we had five, and now we've got possibly the six sitting right on the 200, the, the nine period exponential moving average. And what I've been saying for a little while is that as I analyze the markets using the 914 crossover, as long as that nine period moving average is way above the 14, it is going to be support for the Dow to allow it to hold on any pullback. It doesn't tell you how far it can go to the upside, but it does say there is support to the downside. That's starting to wane. Uh, if the nine starts to come closer and closer to the 14, it hasn't done that yet. Looking at the S&P, it's, it's similar, but not quite the same. S&P mm -mm, has had just uh, two candles, little doji candles, since the peak F top. And at 4163.19, this is going to be very important because the other technicals are starting to uh, decline. But that nine is still sitting pretty nicely. So 41, I'd say 4105 will be key support, but under 40.80 in the 4180s, there's a big change in direction. Meantime, back at the ranch, you've got the QQQ. This is the NDX 100 trading vehicle, trading down 1.83. You've got a lot of those biggies coming up with the earnings this week. We're going to see what happens there. That includes Microsoft, which is also in the Dow. We're looking at the I. WM, the Russell 2000, in this case, uh, 309 to 308 is going to be really important support this week in the QQQ. IWM is just going sideways. The Russell ca small caps just doing nothing. Gold is the interesting party here. Gold is up seven at 1997. It just refuses to have more than one red day, and then it goes green. Look, from, from the high that was made right there and gold, um, and I'll be doing this coming hour, so we'll be looking at these commodities, but from the high that was made on uh, April the 13th, we've had red, a green candle, red candle, and it just alternated between green, red, green, red, and today's back to green. We'll see what happens after this. Uh, but it is holding very nicely when you consider the dollar had an opportunity to rally. Said it's dropped sharply to point thirty down to point thirty six and 101.46 uh, crude oil. It's actually holding pretty well, but it has pulled back under the 200 period moving average of 78.73, up 86 cents. Just stuck in a range. And when I talk about stuck in a range, so is the TLT. TLT says that yields and bonds are all just stuck in its trading range. We'll be back in a moment for um, trade what you see. This is the hour that Larry does his show. I'll be taking the hour. And the Dow is down two, and the S&P is down five. I'll be 